Quarter 2 Lesson 6 Rational Exponents and Radical Expressions Lesson 6 Rational Exponent and Radical Expression So when we are talking of Rational Exponent So we are talking of Expressions with equation uh, exponents with fraction so for example x raised to 3 fourths so this is an expression or a rational exponent x raised to 3 fourths we can also have y raised to 1 half then we can also have 2x raised to 1 fifth so these are examples of expressions with rational exponents while on the other one radical expressions so when we are talking of radical we are talking of radical symbol so radical symbol is this one so this is called the radical symbol or radical sign so radical symbol or radical sign an example for this is uh, square root of x we can also have cube root of y so these are example and last let's have square root of 2xy so these are examples of radical expressions now what is the relationship of rational exponents and radical expressions Rational exponents to radical expression. So, kapag sinabi natin rational exponents, ang, adang, ang ibang tawag doon ay exponential form. At kapag naman radical expression, ang tawag naman doon ay radical form. For example, kung meron tayong x raised to n over m, okay, ang tawag sa ating x ay base. At ang tawag sa ating n over m ang tawag dito ay exponent kung saan ang ating exponent ay rational expression rational expression kasi siya ay fraction so n is our numerator and our n is our denominator okay so ngayon Paano i-convert si rational exponents kay radical form? So, una, we are going to write our radical symbol. So, this is called radical symbol. Then, ang ating x will be inside the radical symbol. Okay? So, x will be inside the radical symbol. Then, our exponent of the numerator will be the exponent of x inside and our numerator m will be placed here okay now so what are the parts of radical form first our radical symbol this is called radical symbol radical symbol then our x is called radicand. X is called radicand. And our M is the index. Index of radicand. Radicals. The whole expression is called radical. Radical expression. So again, our x as our base, our base will be our radicand. The numerator will be the exponent inside the radicand. The denominator of your exponent will be the index of your radicand. Now, how do we read our radical form? So this is read as m root m root of 
x raised to m. So again, this is this is read as m to root of x raised to m. Rational exponents to radical expression example. Number one, five raised to one fourth. So for writing this into radical expression again, we are going to make a radical symbol, a radical sign. Okay, then our base. 5 will be our radicand. Then, the numerator will be our exponent inside, which is 1. And our index will be 4. This is read as 4th root of 5. Number 2. Example number 2. So, if we will have 4 raised to 3 halves. 4 raised to 3 halves. So, rewriting this, so we will have, again, our radical sign. Then, our base will be our radicand, which is, which is 4. Then, the numerator inside will be our exponent. So, the numerator will be our exponent inside, which is 3. And our index will be 2. Now, if our index is 2, hindi na siya sinusulat. It is understood to be square root. So, pawiin na natin yung 2. Okay. So, this is read as square root square root of 4 raised to 3. So again, kapag 2 ang index, hindi na po siya isinusulat. Okay, so that is how or how you write um, exponential uh, exponential form to radical form. Example number 3. So if we will have 2 x raised to 3 fifth. So let us evaluate, let's first analyze, I mean, I analyze our given. So our Given is 2x raised to 3 fifth. Now, kanino incorporated si exponent na 3 fifth? So, we have here 2, the numerical and the variable. So, ang 3 fifth ay para kay variable x lamang. So, that exponent is for the variable x. Then, si 2, ang exponent nito ay 1. Now, kung i -re rewrite natin ito into radical form, that will be, so since hindi fraction ang exponent ni 2, so siya ay nasa labas ng radical. So 2, then our radical sign for x, kasi sa x lang yung may, may fraction exponent. Then our numerator is 3, so that will be exponent inside. And our index will be 5. So that the answer is 2, fifth root of x cubed. Now, for number 4, our given will be 3, the quantity of 3x raised to 4 thirds. The quantity of 3x raised to 4 thirds. So, how are we going to rewrite that in radical symbol? Kung papansin ninyo, okay, ang ating base ay na-treat as 1 because of parentheses. So, na-treat as 1 si 3x. Unlike sa number 3. So, ang atin ngayong uh, exponent na 4 over 3 ay para kay 3x. So, therefore, the radical symbol for this will be, so, radical form will be the radical symbol, okay? Then, our parenthesis, 3x, then raised to 4, then the index is 3. Radical expressions to exponential form. Examples, number 1. Cube root of 8 raised to 4. So, cube root of 8 raised to 4, that is equal to, again, our radicand is 8. Our radicand is 8. So, our base will be 8. Then, our exponent will be, so, the exponent inside the radical symbol is 4. So, that will be our numerator. And our index of the radicand is 3, so that will become our denominator. So therefore, the exponential form of cube root of 8 raised to 4 is equal to 
8 raised to 4 over 3. Number 2. Let's have fifth root of 32. Okay, fifth root of 32. Okay, so again, our radicand is 32. So that will become our base. Okay, 32. So our base is, our radicand is 32. So therefore our base is 32. Then our exponent inside is 1, the invisible 1. Okay, so our exponent will be 1. And the index of the radicand is 5 will be our denominator, which is 5. So, therefore, that is equal to 32 raised to 1 fifth. Loss of radicals. Number 1. The nth root of a raised to n. So, this is equal to, if we are going to rewrite this in exponential form, this is a raised to our exponent inside n and our index n. So that is equal to n divided by n is equal to 1. So n raised to 1, that is equal to a. So nth root of a raised to n is equal to a. Then letter number 2. nth root of a times nth root of b. So again, simplifying this, so we'll have a raised to 1 over n times b raised to 1 over n. Equal, since we have the same exponent, so let's combine this so we're using parentheses. So, a, b raised to 1 over n. So, applying loss of exponent, so this is equal to rewriting this into a radical, that will become nth root of a, b. So, nth root of a, b. So, ibig sabihin, kung pareho pala ang ating index, of the radical, pwede nating direct multiplication si A at saka si B. So, you multiply it directly. Then, number 3. Nth root of A is equal to nth root of B. Nth root of A divided by the nth root of B. So, again, simplifying this, so we'll have A raised to 1 over N over B raised to 1 over N so, since we have similar exponent, so we can combine this. So, A over B raised to 1 over N. Then, rewriting this, so we'll have nth root of A over B. So, ganun din pala yon kapag parehong index and division, pwede mong i-divide directly si A kay B. Okay, so naging nth root of A divided by B. Then for number 4, so this is nth root of mth root of A. So unahin natin yung inside. So that will become nth root of A raised to 1 over M. So that is equal to A raised to 1 over M raised to 1 over N. So that is equal to A then multiply 1 times 1 is 1. Then m times m is mn. So that is equal to m nth root of a. So ganun pala kapag uh, radical within a radical. So you are going to multiply only the index n times m. So that will become mn root of a. Examples. Number 1, cube root of 12 raised to 3. So, this is equal to 12 raised to 3 over 3, which is equal 3 divided 3 is equal to 1. So, that will become 12 raised to 1, which is equal to 12. Next, number 2. So, this is law number 2. Since we have the same index, so, we just copy the same index, which is 5. So, 4 times 8, that is 32. And as we all know, so we can write this as 5th root of 2 raised to 5. 32 is equal to 2 raised to 5, so that is equal to 2. Then, we'll have this. 
Law number 3. So since we have the same index, we can have it as 18 over 2. So that is equal to 18 divided by 2 is 9. So square root ng 9 is 3. Then example number 4. So we have cube root of square root of 64. So unahin natin muna yung nasa inside. So that is square root of 64. So we have cube root of, what is square root of 64? That is 8. And cube root of 8, so we can rewrite this as cube root of 2 cube. And this is equal to 2 raised to 3 over 3, which is equal to 2. Then for this one, for number 5, we will have convert, so 12 raised to 1 third times 12 raised to 1 over, ang index nito ay 2, nakatago, so this is 2. So this is equal to 12, since we have the same base, so we will add the exponent, 1 third plus 1 half. So this is equal to 12, the LCD is 6, so 6 divided by 3 is 2, times 1 is 2, plus 6 divided by 2, is 3 divided times 1, that is 3. So this is equal to 12 raised to 5 over 6. So this is equal to 12 symbol, so we have 12, then numerator is 5, then the index is 6. Apply laws of radical exponents in simplifying expressions. Number 1, the quantity of p raised to negative 3 fourth q cube quantity raised to 1 third. So this is equal to p, so unahin natin si p. So, P raised to negative 3 over 4 times 1 third. Then, si Q, Q, cube raised to 1 third. So, this is equal to P multiply the exponent, the fraction negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 over 4 times 3 is 12. Okay? Then, Q so you have one, uh, 3 times 1 is 3. So the denominator of 3 is 1. So 1 times 3 is also 3. So this is equal to, okay, simplify negative 3 over 12. So that is P raised to negative 1 fourth. Then Q. So Q. So this is equal to P raised to 1, sorry, so this is equal to P, so since this is negative exponent, so that is 1 over P raised to 1 fourth Q, times Q. Example number 2, the quantity of A raised to 12 over B raised to 6, quantity raised to 1 over 6, so this is equal to so we have a raised to 12 times 1 over 6 all over b raised to 6 times 1 over 6. So this is equal to simplify. So we have a raised to 12 over 6 all over b raised to 6 over 6. So that is equal to a squared, 12 divided by 6 is 2, all over b. Please do subscribe and share. Sir, Axi lang. Thanks for watching!